you guys, Fatal here and welcome to Fatopia. So it has been a super exciting week for Overwatch. Not only have we been able to meet the super hot hacker who is Sombra, but we have also had a new map and we also have our K mode. So I thought it would be fun to do a bit of a Sombra makeover. Um, I am going to do another video just of the makeup if you do want to check that out. My friend Rosie who has done my makeup as well, I will put all her information in the description below. So yeah, I thought I'd just do a little video just looking at some Sombra gameplay. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So first of all, just a quick thing in regards to quick play. So that has changed at the moment and it is now like competitive play. So you cannot be the same character as anyone else on your team. But they have now on arcade mode the free throw. So on there you can have the same character twice on your team. But unfortunately I think at the moment it's kind of hard to get the full gameplay experience with Sombra until the hype dies down a bit you will probably find on free for all. You probably will have a good amount of Sombras on your own team and a good amount of Sombras on the enemy team. But hey, let's take a look at her anyhow. So Sombra is an offense hero. So looking at a weapon she's got a fully automatic machine pistol that fires at a short range spread. The rate of fire on that is 20 rounds per second. It holds 60 bullets and the reload time on that is 1.5 seconds. So another ability is the Firm Optic Camo. So some returns completely invisible to her enemies and her movement speed is also increased. But do you take in mind that if she is damaged or she does use a weapon while she's using this ability, it does cancel the effect out so she then will become visible to her enemies. So the duration on that is 6 seconds and the cooldown on that is also 6 seconds. So another ability is the Translocator. So Sombra can toss out a Translocator beacon. This means that you can instantly turn to the beacon's location while it is active. This can be really useful guys if you can place one near a health pack. So the duration on the Translocator is 15 seconds and your cooldown on that is 6 seconds. So Sombra's also got a passive ability which is called the Opportunist. That means that when an enemy's health is below 50%, Sombra can see their silhouette through walls. Um, it's kind of like Black Widow, but um, not like Black Widow. This is only visible to Sombra, so your team is not going to be able to share that ability with you. But yeah, it's a pretty useful ability that she's got. So one of my favourite abilities that she has is the hack. So hacking an enemy is going to prevent activation of any of their abilities. Also, hacked enemies also have their ultimate status and health bar revealed. So, Sombra can also hack the enemy team's health pack. And also, when she hacks the health pack for the team, that means that you farm much faster. So, the duration to hack the abilities is 6 seconds. To reveal the ultimate status and health bar, the reveal on that is 20 seconds. To hack the health pack, that's 60 seconds. And also, to hack turrets is 10 seconds. The cooldown on the hack is 12 seconds. So looking at Sombra's ultimate ability, which is the EMP, Sombra discharges an electromagnetic energy uh, through the ground, which spreads through a radius which destroys enemy barriers and shields, and it also hacks all opponents that are caught in the blast. So yeah guys, I definitely have been enjoyed playing as Sombra, definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you show that like button some love. And as always, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys real soon in the next video. Bye, guys.